Hey all, Matt here with Crypto Blick. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. Welcome to my channel where I talk about the basics of cryptocurrency and the blockchain. And today I'm going to show you how to set up your Trezor One hardware wallet. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel so that you can get more content from me down the road. I try to put out a video every week. And if you like that, let's get started and let us let me show you how to do this. So the first thing you're going to get inside your Trezor One uh, box here, um, you're going to get your actual Trezor One uh, hardware wallet. That's what they call them. You're going to get your USB cable. And then you can get your very important 24 keyword C phrase uh, pieces of paper here to write down on. These are very, very important. You want to make sure that you never lose these. Um, I highly recommend putting them in different locations so that in case, um, say, you know, hopefully this doesn't happen, but say your apartment or your home burns down, at least you have your recovery seat in another location that's protected so that if you ever needed to, for whatever reason, uh, retrieve your crypto, um, that you would have your uh, key seed phrase, 24 of them, here located on your piece of paper for you to in order to uh, protect your crypto and pull it back off or put them back onto a new Trezor one. So keep that in mind. Keep these safe. All right. So once you get to the website, you're going to click on the actual Trezor that you have, the product that you have to so do that. And then you're going to see a seal that comes up and you want to make sure that your seal is the correct seal for Trezor. Make sure that it's not a forgery. I, I did that on my box here because you get one at the top and then at the bottom of the box. You want to make sure that it matches up and it is the same seal and make sure that the box has never been opened because otherwise your assets could get compromised if you try to put uh, cryptocurrency onto uh, a tampered or used uh, Trezor. So just keep that in mind. All right, so let's move on forward here. And I have not plugged it in yet, so it's going to ask me to do this here. Connect your Trezor to continue. All right, so you might get a different screen that pops up here. I had already was doing some testing before I did this video because I want to make sure that I gave you guys the best advice. Um, but go through the process here in terms of validating that uh, Trezor. But once you get to the screen here, you're going to click on Create a New Wallet. So it's preparing my new Trezor. All right, so once you get into uh, the main uh, platform of the Trezor wallet here, um, you're going to see that I have a new firmware that I need to update, but I need to set up my 24 keyword C phrase. So let's do that first here. All right. So it says things to avoid. Do not take a photo of your recovery seed. Do not store it on a computer. Do not save it in your cloud storage. Never upload it to the internet. These are very, very important things. This is why you put them on these little little cards because you want to make sure that it is not connected to the internet because um, your device, your laptop, your phone, things can get hacked and people then can be able to pull off your cryptocurrency if they get those 24 keyword seed phrase, okay? So keep that in mind and then let's move forward here. All right, guys, and while you're doing this, you're going to write down every word into these boxes here. You see this is velvet. You're going to write that there. You're going to click next. Exhaust. You're going to put that down as well. Third word, damp. And you're going to keep going down all the 24 words here, all the way to here, 24. So you've got 12 on this side, 12 on this side. You're going to write these down, and these are going to be your 24 keyword seed phrase, okay? So I'm only going to do this for uh, education purposes. So I'm not going to go through each one, but you're going to write down, you know, damp here, et cetera, et cetera. And you're going to go work all the way through the 24 keywords and keep those in mind. Like I said, I'm going to iterate it once again. Keep this safe because uh, this is how you're going to retrieve your cryptocurrency in case something ever happens to your Trezor One. Keep that in mind. All right, and once you have that written down, it's gonna go through the words one more time to make sure that you have every seed word correct and written correctly so that you have no more problems going forward. All right, so I just clicked finish on my Trezor One. It says you have successfully backed up your device. Continue, enter a new pin for my Trezor. All right, then it's gonna ask you, do you really want to set a new pin? And of course, yes, yes I do. So you click confirm. And then you're gonna see numbers here on your Trezor and then on your home screen you're going to see dots and then you're going to select which dot that corresponds with the numbers that you want uh, for your pin code so I'm just going to do let's just do one 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 all right so I just did 
as you can see on the screen, that was super easy, okay? And I can always go back if I want to. Let's just go back. Let's do, let's just for the fun of it, let's just do three, six, two, and four. All right, so that's my new one. Three, six, two, four. And enter pin. And now the new screen is going to uh, scramble the numbers. So then I have to type in that new pin so I make sure that I have the correct pin saved. So I remember it going forward. So three, six, two, and four. There we go. Enter pin. Perfect. Your pin is set. Now let's continue. Then you're going to click continue to name your Trezor. And then let's pick a name here. All right, confirm to continue. All right, so remember my pin that I set up? Let's put that in here. Let's go to my Trezor. Three, six, two, and four. And then here on the Trezor, it's gonna ask me, do you really want to change the name to Crypto Black? You're gonna, of course, click confirm. All right, and look at that. Of course, say I chose a wonderful name. Well, of course, it's gonna say that every time. But anyways, moving on forward here. All right, bookmark in browser. Uh, to protect yourself against phishing attacks, bookmark the Trezor wallet to avoid visiting fake sites. Use the keyboard shortcut. In my case, for the Mac, I'm gonna do Command D. I can save it, so let's just do that. Done, it's saved, continue and stay up to date on our newsletter. You can put in your email address here so you can stay up to date. I'm just gonna skip it for the video purposes. Follow us and stay up to date. Okay, all right, continue. There we go, and finish. Perfect, so now it is properly set up. I have the 24 keyword C phrase ready to go. Now, let's move on to the firmware update on the Trezor. Click on details. All right, so disconnect the Trezor. When connecting, hold both buttons and pressed. All right, so you're going to disconnect the Trezor, all right? And then it says hold both buttons down when you connect it. And then you're gonna click on I have recovery seed with me, update to version 1.9.3. While it's installing the firmware, let's take a look at the Trezor. It says never do this without your recovery seed, continue. All right, and then you're gonna see what they call a fingerprint with a bunch of numbers and letters. Make sure that is the same on your Trezor and on your browser to confirm that the firmware is correct. All right, so now it's telling me that the firmware is successfully installed. You may now unplug your Trezor. All right, then let's reconnect it. All right, and then we need to enter in the pin. Three, six, two, and four. Now that we have put in the pin, we are in and everything is up to date. One thing I do wanna keep in mind, when I did the firmware update, I actually had to close out of the tab that I had for my Trezor wallet, and I had to start a new one, go back to that bookmark that I had, that Trezor wallet bookmark, and then connect the Trezor that way and everything worked just fine. So for whatever reason, it wasn't reading it when I just plugged it right back in. So you may have to do that yourself, uh, but just keep that in mind. It's an easy fix, close that tab, open up a new one and go back to that wallet. Um, and then so from within here, you have everything that you need on your end. You can uh, create transactions, you can receive and send crypto, um, you can buy and sell it. You, there's the exchange here. Um, and then sign in verify uh, with messages. Uh, but this is the basic overview, guys, of how to set up your Trezor One. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out in the comments be below. Be more than happy to help you out in any way that I can. I do that with other products and anything within the crypto space to help you become more versed in the workings of what the blockchain is and cryptocurrency. So have a fantastic day to guy. If this helped you, please like the video please subscribe to the channel because there'll be more juicy content coming out down the road. All right, guys, have a great day.